Pro 3, of course, but there are some reports coming out. So let's talk about that. A few other interesting news coming out of Tesla, Chevy. So let's talk about it all right now. Take it over the world. So uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching this in replay on YouTube, please go ahead and join our community by clicking the subscribe button. But of course, you can always join us here on Patreon live so you can talk and participate and watch it all live. I make, I'll, I'll make a couple of more announcements about it in a second, but let's talk about Model Y. Um, there's no, there are no new, new pictures. We still get to see the shadowy a mysterious figure but um it looks like there are some reports coming out that you know obviously tesla has been already reaching out to some um, of the uh suppliers and now that they're actually going back and forth it looks like that uh tesla is targeting production by the end of 2019 now this is a little bit faster than a lot of people uh projected because usually from the time they start talking to suppliers to actual production it's a couple of weeks i mean a couple of years uh and this is more of like a 18 months timeline and obviously this is just very very much a, 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 an, an estimated timeline uh, but nevertheless there's another piece of news that i may, i don't know maybe i missed it from before but obviously we know they can't make it on a, a the free month production Ooh, something's wrong with my collar huh uh, I'm back. Uh, some uh, they're not going to be able to. Uh, um, they're not going to be able to produce this car in on Freeman. Freeman once the Model Three uh, uh, production ramps up, Freeman will be basically completely full. So uh, you know, people were wondering where they were going to start. Well. It looks like they will start at the Fremont because the production is going to be relatively, you know, small and kind of slow. And then once they're ready to ramp up, they're actually going to move it to their uh, factory that they built specifically for uh, the Model Y, uh, which is still kind of, you know, looks like it's going to be in China. Definitely is going to uh, depend on what happens, you know, politically and just between Tesla and Chinese government. Uh, but you know just some good news and you know we haven't looked at this image in a while so i figured let's talk about it um yeah now obviously it, it looks like um elon said it from the very beginning this should the car would be more demand than model 3 obviously crossover suv uh, compact suv whatever you want to call it um definitely will be demand so but let's move on to a bunch of other news including tesla before that just want to remind you this uh show and this channel is sponsored by evanex the aftermarket accessories for tesla and there's a discount code in the description of this video. Now, uh, let me talk about a couple of things before I mention what's happening this weekend with me. Uh, and Chevy is in the news again. Now, apparently Chevy Bolt, um, I maybe I missed this one as well, <laughs> but uh, they had the over the air uh, update capabilities, but this is the first time they're actually using it. And it comes from the story that I was talking about a couple of weeks ago. Um, that um, there's, they, they found a problem in 2017 bolts uh, where the batteries uh, not being reported its you know capabilities and and charge to the car software so people end up running out of power like all of a sudden and that causes some problems so they're issuing a recall but the recall is not a hardware recall they're just basically updating its software and at First, I thought everybody would have to go to the you know dealerships and service centers for that, but actually they're gonna do it over the air. This is the first time Chevy Ball, I believe it's the first time a non-Tesla electric car or any car, a car really got this. So this is exciting. Now they're they're not fixing the problem, they're just making it easier to monitor the problem. Not really sure if that's a complete solution, though. I'm assuming that's a first step for it, but I'm really just more interested in the whole uh, over the air um, update thing for Chevy, which I don't know. I maybe I missed that. Let me know if you guys uh, thought this was this thing was all along in there. But more news about Chevy Bolt. And Chevy Bolt has its own uh, ride sharing service in a in, in bunch of cities, including here in San Francisco. I wasn't really aware of it um, that, or used it, uh, but apparently they're partner, partnering up with EVgo to create a network of fast charging uh, spots. Um, and uh, first of all, good. Uh, that, that's great. I mean, we don't have a fast charging network anywhere near uh, what Tesla has here in the United States for non-Tesla cars. Uh, Porsche announced that they might be putting them into their dealerships, but that would be just for Porsche. And it's about 190 locations. Uh, but for anybody else, there is nothing going on. So this is good news. Now, mind you, this is only for drivers who do like Uber and Lyft type of work, right? For, for, for this particular network for 
that, that Chevy has. But who knows, you know, maybe once they figure out how to do these, how to put them out there, that they're popular and people are using it, they can do it for the rest of us. So not huge news because it's just really just for drivers for the ride sharing service. But nevertheless, it's kind of the first time I'm kind of hearing about this. So I'm excited, not too excited, but I'm definitely excited. Um, all right. So let me talk about, uh, you know, what's happening this week. And now I'm still streaming live until Saturday when I'm going to have a uh, uh, rich uh, rebuilds on, which I'm still excited about that. But Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I am not going to be streaming live. I'm actually going to pre-record some segments, and obviously they're not going to be news because I can't guess. But uh, Sunday will still be kind of a hangout pre-recorded. But uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there will be no news. I just have some stuff that I wanted to put together based on a lot of questions and comments that I see in the comment section. So I still you like it, including like top ten things I don't like about my Tesla. You know, we'll, we'll talk about that, but I will record them live uh, on Patreon. All right. And you and it will be like outtakes and everything. So I'll just stream live and then I record those segments. So if you guys can join me tonight sometime or tomorrow, I'm going to do that kind of right in front of you guys. Uh, and I guess that's a, you know, not I guess that's a part of a, being a Patreon. We contribute to the show. You get this type of stunt. But the reason I, I have this uh, picture of Byton, uh, the car that was unveiled at CES. And as you know, I streamed live from their unveiling and I had a couple of other videos about them. Love this brand. Um, I'm going to be going and covering their European unveiling at the Milan Design Week um, and I'll be there. I don't know if I'll be able to stream live, probably not, but I'll bring a bunch of footage with me, of course, and share it with you guys. And then I'm also hoping to go to a Beijing Auto Show later this month, but I'll talk about it some other time. So no live streams or news updates on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, but instead we will, I will have some pre-recorded segments that I will pre-record live for you guys uh, on Patreon. So for those of you guys who are watching me on Patreon right now, gear up tonight, sometime tonight, and sometime tomorrow. And if you haven't joined it, of course, there's a description uh, of this video has that. So please join me and thank you so much for supporting it. Um, all right, so let's move on to more news. Elon Musk was on uh, CBS this morning. Um, this is a screenshot and I'm sure you can uh, YouTube it, Google it, whatever, have it on your DVR. Now they were promoting this for a while and everything. And you know, it was, it was just, you know, Elon talking about sleeping in the factory and all that stuff. Definitely check it out. But one thing that he mentioned, I don't know if it slipped, I don't know if it's just uh, he didn't mean to say it, but apparently he said that, hey, you know, we're doing pretty well. Our delay overall is only six to nine months. So if you're waiting for the car, you know, you knew it's going to be a long wait. We're just shifting it six to nine months. Well, first of all, that's a big delay, Elon. I have to say he kind of made no big deal out of it. But, you know, most people were going to wait, thought they would wait about a year. So if we're talking about another half a year, a year, that's a problem. And he did admit that people who are, are canceling reservations are the people who kind of were planning to get this as their next car. And then once that time came and it wasn't available, they just had to go with another car. Meanwhile, some of the people, those people are not not canceling because they're just going to get Model 3 some other time once they're whatever car they're going to go with uh, that lease or purchase kind of a, um, comes to an end. Um, I've heard they need to refund your money first. It takes a few weeks. Can transfer at least now, says Lucas. Yeah, I believe it does take a little bit to get your refund. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Um, so, but yeah, I, I, I've heard some people having this, you know, but you know, not that I'm suggesting this, but because you paid it with your credit card, you can always get them from that first, but then you will be submitting chargeback. So, and I'm sure you can talk to Tesla if you really need the money back right away. Um, anyway, so that's interesting. I don't know about, okay, but 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 he said six to nine months. Okay, we know that they plan on, uh, you know, producing 5,000 Model 3s per week at the end of the year. Now the new goal is by the end of June, that's six months. So when he's saying nine months, is he saying something else? Is he just kind of a throwing my numbers out there? Or is he literally opening a door to saying, hey, there's three more months of delays that are possible? I don't know, man. I don't know if, if I'm reading into it. I haven't seen too many people discussing this. So we'll see if he'll make some corrective statements. But right now, the official Tesla statement is obviously they're going to meet that by the end of the month, uh, by the end of Q2. Anyway, let's move on. There's just uh, too many other things. Uh, now, this is uh, this is a, a couple of updates that are rolling through uh, Tesla fleet right now. One of them is apparently they're fixing the browser. And 
preview for you guys. My top 10 things that I don't like about my Tesla video that's going to be coming out is going to have browser as my one of the least favorite features because it's completely useless, I have to say. It's slow. It doesn't render a lot of websites. Obviously, it doesn't, you know, play videos and so forth. Apparently, they've, they're have updating it. I don't see how much better it is. It is a little bit faster. So I'm not really sure if it's really a browser capability, but more of a, you know, a connection capability. Um, but I, <laughs> I, I mean, anything else, but to me, it's completely useless. It's like using AOL browser, you know, from uh, uh, 1995 on a modem. So I don't use it. Most people don't use it. So I'm hoping they, they made enough progress for us to kind of come back and see what's up. But uh, well, and another thing that they are making, I guess they're now gathering some information about the traffic using the, its their own fleet, um, it kind of a crowdsourcing because what the update that they're doing with the navigation system, and this is my lots of my biggest problems with my Tesla right now is that estimated time of arrival and complete crap. It's basically they estimating it if, if there is no traffic and you just get there, right? I have to literally whip up my phone, go to Google Maps, do the directions there to see what my actual estimated time of arrival is because that actually calculates traffic in. So now uh, Tesla is going to do that. I mean, it's going to build in some like vase like capabilities where we can kind of crowdsource uh, this and uh, that will help Tesla's navigation system determine when we're going to arrive at our destination. So I'm looking forward to that, not jumping up and down yet with joy. I haven't gotten it, uh, but definitely great improvement. All right, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please, if you don't mind while you're watching it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, Volvo. Here's another good story. Volvo just uh, released their delivery truck. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're going to start production by the end of the year and you will see them more on the road, wherever they're selling them uh, um, uh, sometime next year. Now, this is a segment where it's OK not to have a long range, right? Delivery trucks. We just talked about workhorse doing their smaller version of a delivery truck. Well, this is one of them. It's a local deliveries. You don't need that much of a range. This one ha will have a, a choice of uh, batteries from 100 to 300 uh, kilowatt hour batteries. The larger one will go up to 186 miles. 300 kilometers, um, pretty decent, not bad at all. So um, I'm kudos to Volvo and good looking truck. I mean, it, you know, I'm, I don't see it being very, uh, very uh, aerodynamic. So maybe this is something these guys are going to start looking into it. And by these guys, I mean, non-Tesla manufacturers. I think they need to understand that aerodynamics do matter when, you know, if you want to extend range, that looking at the wheels and the way that the, 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 the back is sticking out, none of it is good. I'm sure if they would have worked on design a little bit, they would have increased the range, probably taking it over 200 miles, which actually would be a head turn in terms of that. But good for them for doing it. But guys, don't forget to hire somebody to do aerodynamics for you. Um, as I mentioned, that uh, Reach Rebuilds will be on the show. It's going to be live on Saturday. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, and uh, lined up, I already have lined up some other things. As you can see, uh, Zach and Jesse might be pre-recorded as well, guys. I will still stream a live um, on our Patreon as we're doing it, but I will have to repost it uh, maybe a week later because if I'm on uh, at the Beijing Auto Show, then I won't be able to do it live, but still, nevertheless, very exciting. Uh, looking forward to that. And let's move on to the comment of the day. And it comes from David, one of the uh, more frequent poster in the comment section, not always agreeable or nice, I have to say, but uh, and he, he's not being nice here either, but he points out maybe Tesla should require an IQ test to purchase their product. We're, as we we're talking about the crash and who's at fault, whether the driver is at fault and, and, and so forth. Um, and um, I, 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 I have to agree with them on a bigger level, I have to say. And I've addressed this before. I think people get driver licenses like it's no big deal. Like it's, you know, I, I, I think the license needs to be a license like you get your medical license, like you get, you know, contr contractor's license. Like this has to be something that confirms that you're um, capable of doing this and not just because you showed up and had a picture taken. Um, yes, I know we have tests here in the United States at least, but judging by what I see on the road, um, the, I, don't, I have no idea how these people park tests and a lot of them are just danger to themselves uh, and everybody around them. And I wish those tests would, be, would have to be taken every year. I wish the driver license would be more restricted if you get into accidents or get a you know, certain amount of tickets, a little bit more stricter. Um, and I, 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 it, so yeah, I, I, you know, 
I'm not sure about the IQ test, but definitely a much more maybe a, a, a tougher test. Maybe now that we have simulators, right? There's like, like, like pilots do. Why don't we have? A, why don't we require some time to at the simulator uh, uh, for for people to drive around and make sure that they are not a danger to everybody? Because right now the tests they're doing in real life obviously is a joke. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or not. But I see crazy crazy drivers. I have dashcam footage uh, posted on my Facebook page. I just my personal one uh, a lot because it's just crazy what's going on. Let me know if you agree with it uh, with me or not. But uh, that's where we are uh, with this. Um, great comment of the day, dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, and all right, so we, we're once again out of time. Just so many news. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's show and of course saturday uh, uh rich rebuilds is going to be here um thank you for joining me on patreon guys if you haven't joined me on patreon please go to patreon.com slash e4 electric and watch all of this live um other than that i will see you guys next time and remember to stay charged